The outbreak of the Korean War, shortly after the country's hard-earned independence, had placed the Republic of Korea into a time of devastation. Amongst the pile of ruins, hunger-stricken Koreans were continuously faced with the remnants and consequences of war atrocities. As a country with a per capita income of $67, the Republic of Korea was one of the world's poorest recipient countries. Foreign aid ranging from food, education, health, and welfare to industrial infrastructure not only fed our citizens but had laid a foundation for economic growth to further develop our nation. Beyond standing on its own feet, the Republic of Korea has achieved economic progress at an unprecedented speed, becoming known as the Miracle on the Han River. As an affiliated agency of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the establishment of the Korea International Cooperation Agency, COICA, in 1991 has transformed our status from a recipient to a donor, and since then, Korean aid has been elevating the image of the Republic of Korea in the international community. The Republic of Korea joined the OECD in 1996 and has been a member of OECD DAC since 2009. These affiliations highlight the importance of COICA's role in Korea's ever-increasing status on the global stage. COICA as a leading development cooperation agency of Korea, supports the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals and the realization of global social values and contributes to the peace and prosperity of the international community. COICA was established in April 1, 1991 under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as the implementing agency for grant aid and technical cooperation. Its mission is to leave no one behind with people-centered peace and prosperity. COICA has offices in 47 countries throughout Asia, Africa, CIS, Middle East and Latin America. And there is an office also in Pakistan. Let's take a look. So currently we are focusing on four, uh, four areas which are water and sanitation, energy, rural development and agriculture. So we have different projects in Koika Pakistan office. So we are also supporting the training programs as well, scholarships programs, and different uh, socio-economic for uh, like socio-economic uplift programs. There is a project going on with the government of Pakistan for the renewable energy as well, which is in uh, Islamabad. We are supporting the Ministry of Science and Technology to develop the renewable energy and solar panels testing the battery in, uh, in Islamabad. Under our, our training program, there are around more than 1,500 uh, Pakistani government officials who got training in Korea and then now they are serving back and then they are our alumni. And now we also do some alumni activities in Pakistan as well. I hope this will benefit the government of Pakistan in these kind of domains. Thank you so much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Park Korea Capacity Building Center was established in 2017. At present, this center is also working on different vocational trainings and other trades of agriculture and livestock, like artificial insemination, uh, livestock production techniques, uh, similarly in agriculture, landscaping and uh, uh, hydroponic agriculture, poultry farming and this sort of other activities. These activities uh, uh, should uh, enhance their skill and uh, start their income generation activities at their own level. And thank you very much. We did a three-month three uh, honeybee farm manager course. Uh, it was very beneficial for us. Uh, because uh, I am doing a uh, beekeeping since five years. So uh, in this uh, uh, course, uh, we learn uh, modern techniques of beekeeping. I am very thankful of uh, Koika, uh, especially Korean government, uh, that uh, they give opportunity and uh, modern labs and classrooms, especially this building, uh, which facilitate us and uh, we learn uh, and modern techniques in beekeeping.
Hi, this is uh, ICT Center. Uh, this state of the art center was established with the help of uh, the government of Korea. Here we are offering three years diploma course with 18 short courses. Uh, the diploma course is mainly about computing and its different fields. Uh, and the different short courses which are mainly uh, about AutoCAD, graphic designing, uh, development courses such as Python, C Sharp. Then we have some uh, high end courses like AI and blockchain which we have offered recently. My name is Abdul Samad. I am the student of DAE ICT second year and we are the third batch of DAE ICT in CTTI college and the DAE ICT in CTTI is being represented by Koika and we are very grateful that they have given us advanced technology and the environment that we need to study. Likewise, Koika Pakistan office has already finished and is holding 20 projects regarding Pakistan's water management and health, energy and regional development. You know, to contribute to the social economic development of Pakistan, we Koika have been implementing the various grant aid projects here in Pakistan since we established the Koika Pakistan office in 2010. Koika has invited more than 100 Pakistan government officials to Korea every year for their capacity building in various sectors. After the pandemic COVID-19 broke out, we are doing those capacity building programs in online basis. I, I hope that more Pakistanis could participate in those programs after the pandemic is over. Good health and well-being. Reduced inequalities. No poverty. Zero hunger, stand together now. Sustainable cities and communities. Gender equality. Industry, innovation and infrastructure. Life on land. Clean water and sanitation. Decent work and economic growth. Life below water. Affordable and clean energy. Peace, justice and strong institutions. Quality education. Climate action. Partnerships for the cause. Stand together now. Stand together now. Stand together now. Stand together.